Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. I just got out of work at the coffee shop, so I'm a little sweaty, a little scattered. I, I did have espresso today because I woke up in a panic at 3 a.m. This is post daylight savings and then couldn't get back to sleep. Of course, until like 6.30, I was like, oh, I could finally get back to sleep. But I get up for work at 6.30, so there was just like, of course, bad timing. I'll talk about my relationship with caffeine on another video, but I will say that I'm proud of myself because the amount of times I've had espresso this summer slash fall has been three or four. Like today maybe was the fourth one. When you don't drink coffee every day or don't drink espresso or caffeine, when you need it, it works, which is really cool. Cause it's like I was falling asleep at work and all of a sudden Hillary is back on. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so I have some exciting news. Andrew and I are moving into a winter rental. Yeah. So I've been living in the shed. Andrew's been kind of moving around. He lived in the tiny house for a while. He lived with me for a little bit in that shed. Can you imagine? And then lived across the street here at our neighbor's house for like a month and a half. Kind of has been bopping around and we have been set on finding winter housing because this is a tourist town. This is a seasonal town. So when the season ends, which it's ended, Halloween like basically was the cab of it. Honestly, like early October was the end of it, but then it had a resurgence for Halloween, but now it's like done. All of the summer rentals that are ungodly expensive are very, very affordable. We had a lot of trouble finding one because um, Crusher, Kiva, or Kitty. Yeah, it was just hard finding one. They were going quick. Like so many people need a winter rental. They were just going quick. And I'm not going to get into it now, but it, it's one of these situations where we work in the town. We are the town workers. Make this town run. Without us, the town shuts down. And these people who are spending the winters, who are from New York, LA, like they want this like beautiful beach town. I get it. You are entitled to have that. However, if you take all of the housing away from the workers, the town shuts down. I'm not gonna get into it because I could stand here all day and talk about it. But that really upset me that we had so much trouble. So Andrew's a manager of a dispensary here in town, a town over. I work at the coffee shop and I'm a nanny, but also Andrew has been a handyman here. So the last couple places we saw, we led with Andrew's a handyman. And then, oh, we have a pig, no big deal. Nobody cares because he's a handyman. So they're like, oh, well, if, I'm sure the mindset is if something happened, he would be able to fix it, which is 100% true. So that works out. So it was between three different houses, well, really two. We left a deposit on the first one because we were having trouble finding one. And this guy was like, a couple weeks ago, was gonna give it to us. So we like quick left a deposit. It was this cute, oh my God, such a cute little standalone cottage. Little tiny fenced in yard, hot tub, really seemed cool. So we left a deposit on that one. Then our friend opened up a spot above his place, but it was the second, it was awesome. It was like two bedroom, big kitchen, big bathroom, nice, nice yard. And in this town, like yard is really hard to find. So like that sounded cool. Plus it was like right next to my job, which was perfect. But those, both of those places had drawbacks. The cottage, didn't know about Crusher at that point. I don't think that he, oh no, they did. What was the drawback? There was a drawback. And then the, the other, the upstairs unit was an upstairs unit and that's the drawback. Crusher doesn't do well on stairs. In fact, she screams going up or down, well, going downstairs, she like screams. And this is a very small town People live very close together, like physically small town and people live physically very close together. And even though like there's less people in the winter, there's still people. Plus we would be right next to my job, which is right on the main drag. And so like everybody would just hear her scream twice a day. And like, think of the torture putting Crusher through the torture putting ourselves through. It just is like not worth it. So that was kind of like, okay, if we have nothing, we'll consider it. But like, I don't think we're going to take it. And then... At the last second, this 
really cute bed and breakfast type in place that a couple of my friends, Sawyer and Cody, who you've met, uh, were working at. Sawyer was staying in this apartment underneath the inn part of it because it's like the house, bed and breakfast, like kitchen, living room, common area kind of thing. And then the, the inn. And so he was staying in an apartment under the inn. And I said to him, I was like, when you leave, are they trying to rent that space out? Cause like, I would love to take, we would love to take that space. I've seen his, his little apartment. And it was like, it's not big, but it's like cute and would work perfectly for us. And when he asked the owners, they were like, oh, we shut the whole building down. Okay. That's a bust. No worries. We forgot all about it. But then like, just a few days ago, they contacted Sawyer and they're like, hey, did they still need a rental? And we're like, we're always looking. Like, even though we have those two options, like, we're always keeping our options open. So they wanted to rent us the whole the whole bed and breakfast common area. So the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, and then upstairs is a bedroom, main suite, and another living room. And it's like a big really nice house. I've been to that house with Sawyer and Brandon and Cody. We, we watched that movie Halloween kills. We did like a little screening for Halloween and it was like, it's nice. Like the kitchen is nice. And they were like, Oh, we're trying to rent that out. And we're like, uh, so I, I've seen it. Andrew hadn't. So I was like, Andrew, I'm telling you, you will want this place. I'm telling you the second you see it, you're going to want it. And he's like, well, I don't know. Like, so he talked on the phone with them fine with crusher. There's a fenced in yard and we're like, okay. So they wanted us to see it that night. And this was just literally just a couple days ago. Like today is mm, Monday and this was maybe Thursday. This happened. So like quick, we went to see the place, obviously fell in love with it. The people are so nice. The owners, I, I didn't realize I already knew them from the coffee shop. Fine with Crusher. Crusher basically had her own room. We'd have, we'd have so much space fenced in yard cute, great parking a view of the, the dunes and the moors and the breakwater, um, like laundry on site. Like it doesn't make any sense. Plus the rent was like so affordable. We're like, you're kidding, right? Now we hadn't seen that cute standalone cottage I talked about earlier. We hadn't seen that yet. We left a deposit, but we had an appointment to see it. So this happened Thursday. We had an appointment to see it on Saturday. So we said to them, we're going to, like, we have to see this place. We left a deposit. We're going to go see it, but we're pretty sure we're going to take the spot. So, oh, there's one drawback of this place though. The lease ends end of March, which most places end the end of like m the beginning of May. So it gives us like a whole extra month. So we're losing a month and then we're like, oh, that kind of stinks. Like we worked so hard to find this housing. Like it's so annoying to have to find housing. But because we're doing this and if we're on good footing, then we're first dibs to go in that apartment I was talking about earlier that Sawyer was in. So this could potentially be year round housing for both Andrew and I, which is like, I like the thought of that. We were just like, like this relief just hit us. Like we have been dealing with so much stress in a relationship simply of where to live and like, I, I'm not talking bad about my house. I loved where I lived, that little shed. But, like, first of all, it's expensive. It's expensive for what I got. I'm just going to say it. It's really, it's more than this whole entire house was. Um, it's really expensive. And Andrew couldn't live with me. So it just, like, you know, we were looking for other options. So grateful for it. So thankful for it. Please don't get me wrong. I love the family I live with. Like, I'm very upset to leave them. However, I want to live with my husband now. We needed the time apart, but now we're ready to live together. Um, so we we're like, we have to go see this place on Saturday. We have to go just see what it's like just to know that that's not our option. We left the deposit. We might as well just see it. The timing got mixed up to go see it. So only Andrew ended up seeing it, which I was like, I don't care. I already know I'm picking bed and breakfast. So he went to see it. He came back. He's like, it's as cute as we thought it was really cute little backyard. The hot tub is more of a soaking tub. So it's not really like a social tub. It's like one person fine. Awesome. No big deal. But compared to the bed and breakfast, it just doesn't, it's just not like the bed and breakfast wins because it's a full size house plus a fenced in yard for crusher and the view of the breakwater. And so it's just like, it's a no brainer and it's cheaper. The, the bread and breakfast was cheaper. So we're just like, it's not, it's happening. So we have to pay the security deposit first month, 
today and then we move in tomorrow. So this whole story leads back to this finally. I am in my car. I am about to go and pick up some baby gates for from this lady in um, a couple towns over. It's like about an hour away. But for Crusher in this new place, we want to be able to like kind of fence her in to where we want her to be. So like she can have her own room or she can roam. But like it's not a good idea to leave her unattended. She will get into something and she will mess something up. So I didn't want to move in until we had the baby gates. And then I was like, we're not going to have time with Amazon. But anyway, I found some baby gates gonna go pick them up very affordable um she's actually by where Sawyer is right now so I'm going to go see Sawyer I have something to give him and then I'll come back and I think tonight we can start packing if I'm not too tired by the time I get back TBD but we're, we're, we're moving in tomorrow I'm moving in tomorrow Andrew has to work but like I'm moving in so I can like start getting everything ready the cool part about living out of like four or five totes is like, I really don't have that much stuff. So we're going to be moved over there pretty quickly, which is nice. Tomorrow night we will be sleeping in the new place. I am just like, I'm so excited. We have two bathrooms. We, we haven't, neither of us have had a bathroom in so long. I can't tell you like, I share a bathroom with so many people right now. I share a bathroom with the kids I nanny for and the family. So one bathroom with seven people. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, to put it in perspective. And right now he has a bathroom, but he's only had a bathroom for, like, a month. Because in the tiny house, there's... I don't want to get into it right now, but there's no working bathroom. And no shower. And so it's like... The thought of having a bathroom right off of our bedroom... Being able to shower every night before bed, it's so nice. It's it's just like people like people just don't get it because they haven't lived tiny. Like they don't get that little things like this make such a big deal. Like this this kitchen in this place, I can't wait to show you guys. It's it's so it's the nicest kitchen I've ever been in. And it's mine. I can cook every night and like, oh my gosh, that's like I have a dishwasher now. I have a six range, a six burner Viking range with a griddle. I have two ovens. Are you kidding? With all the supplies right there, like it fully furnished. It's unbelievable that we can just move in. And this is one of those times where I feel like I'm on the right path because things, when things start to like work out, I believe that it's like your higher self or whatever you believe in, the higher power, whatever that may be, like sending you signs that you're in the right direction. And like this is such like a nice reward that makes me feel like, okay, you're, you're headed in the right direction. And like, I just, I hope everything is going to work out as best as I think it's going to work out. But I really just am so happy. Anyway, let's get on the road because I've already wasted time chit-chatting. Let's get on the road, pick that stuff up and get back soonish. I was going to bring Crusher with us, but the last time I brought her in the car, this girl has like never Peter pooped in the car. Maybe like one time and it was my fault because I didn't like let her pee before she like get in. But like she pooped for a full hour in the car. The last time I brought her in the car. And so I'm telling you right now, she's not coming in the car until I have like waterproof cover on my seats because that was disgusting and it still smells. Anyway, let's go. Here we go. Okay, so I just picked up the baby gates. I wonder if you can see them behind me. I'm not sure. What a relief to have these gates. Picking them up. It's such a hit or miss on Facebook Marketplace, but um, I was able to get all three gates. And I just, if, if you guys do just one thing for me, if you can do one thing for me, my request is that you Turn Amazon off for a second, get off the app, and just search for what you need on Facebook Marketplace first. Not like can be shipped to you literally from somebody local in your area who already has it and had gently used it and wants to sell it to you for cheap. Please do that, please do that. I could have bought new ones, but then she would have had to throw these away, and now I'm using somebody's, they're basically brand new. 
and I got them for, first of all, a quarter of the price. They're in great shape and I just like, please go to, please go on Facebook Marketplace before you do anything. Please just check Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, what are the other ones? Whatever people sell on. Go check them before you just go on Amazon. Please, please. If you do one thing for me, please do that. Okay, off to Sawyer's. Good morning. It is a new day. <clears throat> just woke up. I slept in till 7.30. What a treat. So it's the next day. I left off where I went to see Sawyer. I saw Sawyer. It was just for like a few minutes and it was really dark because we were outside so I just didn't film it. And then I talked to my mom on the way home. And then I talked to another friend. And then I had to get all of our money together and documents signed and ready to go for move in today and eat. And by the time I did that, I was just like, I need to go to bed or I'm gonna lose it on somebody. <laughs> so I went to bed. So today's a new day. I feel great. So rejuvenated. It's move day. It's like eight o'clock now. I'm going to bring the car over, get it ready, because it needs to be vacuumed since pooped in it. I actually have to go to the doctor's office today and I have to do fasting blood work. So I have time, it, like I have to go at nine. That's when the lady gets in. That's when the lady I, that I need to see gets in. So I have time to like vacuum out the car and get like one car load ready, go to the doctor, drop the car load off, come back, eat, pack. So that's the plan. Let's just get right down to it. What an angel. I've got a pretty significant car load right now. Whole trunk is packed. I forget like I have so much art stuff that I brought. For all my various art projects I do. So like my things are really not that much. But then I have like my sewing machines, bin, bins of craft stuff, material, all kinds of stuff. I have so much stuff. 
but not so much like <clears throat> I almost don't consider it stuff because it's not stuff I like own like possessions it's like stuff towards a business stuff towards a hobby stuff towards a an art and you're allowed to have some materials for that but like my possessions are not that many like most of my shit is in this bin like random random stuff beauty hair care supplements all kinds of stuff it's like mostly that shoes I have a bin for shoes and then I'll probably have like truly like three bins of clothes but that's not even that much for year round I don't know I'm still a minimalist if I can fit all my stuff in like two maybe three car loads it's pretty that's pretty minimal off to go get my blood work hopefully this goes through if I have issues today I might freak out because I'll get into it later in a different video but I've been trying to get blood work done for half of August, all of September, all of October, and now we're in November. It's time to get the blood work done. So let's go try and do that today. I don't believe it. My blood work is done. My fasting blood work is done. Let's go get something to eat. I'm starving. I love these little baby chocolate croissants. Mmm. So good. Okay, let's text Cody to see if he's home. I'm ready to go. You home? 15 question marks. It's almost 11. He should be up by now, hopefully. Let's find out. We're here. I'm here. I love it here so much. This is like seriously one of those signs that like I'm going down the right path. I can't wait to show you this place. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh. Okay, so sadly Cody already knows we're moving in. I was going to surprise him and be like, surprise, we're roommates, but he already knew which duh. Like, of course he already knew. That's okay. He's gone, so it's just me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started bringing things in. <laughs> I'm so happy today. Today's working out. Today's a good day. Today is a good day. End of an era. She's moved out. Let's give the final tour. Swept, clean, empty. Just the cute rugs that we couldn't have because Crusher wouldn't have them. Windows. I'm leaving this hardware and those shelves in case I come back. Everything tis the way it was when I came. Sad to leave, excited for a new chapter. <clears throat> so big in here now. With a little help from my friends, I moved everything. It's all 
here. There's a lot of kitchen stuff and I need to put all those groceries away. Keep this around here somewhere. So I'm gonna do a little film as I put our groceries away. Okay, just for reference. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and for reference. That's it. <laughs> We really don't have that much. Well, that's refrigerated. We have some like dry goods, so let's put them away. We've got a pig and we got a kitty and the kitty is very not happy with me. Oh, I'm sorry, Kiva. She wants to be an outdoor kitty, but you can't. Are you ready to come in, little girl? Come on. Come on in. What do you think? This is our new home. Oh yeah, don't like that way. Just this way. Yeah, happy. Where are you going? You wanna come over here? Found Kiva's litter box. Sorry. Let's move this to a new home. Kiva, I'm putting it over here. Okay. It's okay, Gail. You okay, Grish? Kitty is sitting and wondering. It's Crusher, your sister. Crushy. Hey, Gaga. Love Cushy. Love you, Cushy. Okay, we are moved in. I put some of my clothes away upstairs. I put some of my bathroom stuff away. I took a shower, put our groceries away. Crusher's walking around. The kitty's walking around. So I am going to go into town and get sheets for the bed because we don't have sheets for the bed and another blanket because we only have my blanket and I don't want to share so we're gonna I'm gonna go do that I think I'm gonna keep Crusher in that bathroom where she is right now I don't think I'm gonna take you with me when I go to the store I don't feel like it yeah we'll leave you here we'll leave the animals here see what happens I'll only be gone for like two three hours maybe so hopefully they'll be okay but yeah this has been exciting and I'm so happy. I'm tired, I'm super tired. So I'm excited to get some sheets, get them cleaned and then go to bed. So I'm gonna go now so I can get back, wash them and move on with my day. But thank you so much for joining me for this moving vlog. I promise I'll have a tour very soon once I have my stuff set up and once Andrew moves in. Right, Chrissy? Love mama. Once we're all moved in, it's gonna be really fun and exciting. So, see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of video. And we'll see you for the next vlog. Bye.